Bible says it's better you go to the house of crime. You know why? Because the person might have spared you. It's like when somebody breathed death for you. You were supposed to be the one who breathed that death. But because you are there, the person breathed death for you. Like you are sitting here, we are breathing one air here. Eh? Same applies to God. When God is working here, when he's working here, he's also speaking here. He's touching there. He's raising there. I don't know if you're hearing me. Ask somebody to say, my friend. Whatever God will be doing on someone will be doing on you. If somebody stand up and say, God has done this, you must be excited like it has happened to you. So that is why we have got no choice of standing here and speak about any pastor. Why? Because that pastor there and pastor here, they've been ordained by one person. So if God heals this one, he has healed this one. If you have healed HIV, he has healed what? High blood pressure. If he has healed cancer, he has healed. And don't ever think you are free than other people. When you see somebody say, I'm sick of this, you might be having the same sickness without pain. I don't, know, I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. Some people know their sickness by pain. You might be having the same sickness by what? Without pain. But the day you feel pain, you realize, ah, I was sick for years. So God loves you and I'm happy. One man's uh, trouble is your trouble. So today, God is going to bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Um, let's open scriptures. In Exodus 19, let's read from verse 1. I think it will help us from verse what? Just read one dash. There are some verses we won't read. Verse 1, it says, In the third month, after the Israelites left the land of Egypt, the same day they came into the wilderness of Sinai, when they departed from Raphidim and came to the wilderness of Sinai, they encamped there before the mountain. And Moses went up to God and the Lord called to him out of the mountain, say to this to the house of Jacob and tell the Israelites. Verse 5, let's read now. Therefore, if you will obey my voice in truth and keep my covenant, then you shall be my own peculiar possession and treasure from among and above all peoples, for all the earth is mine. And you shall be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. These are the ways. You shall speak to the Israelites. Can you see verse 7? It says, seven, So yes. Moses called for the elders of the people and told them all this wish which the Lord commanded him. And all the people answered together and said, all that the Lord has spoken, we will do. And Moses reported the words of the people to the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, 
I come to you in a thick cloud that the people may hear when I speak with you and believe you and remain steadfast forever. Then Moses told the words of the people to the Lord. Morena busha musha are gaile na kitlo kitla uwe na kile le rong le liso ore si chapa se si kwe eke bole la lewe na ke mo si tlo uwe dume la kamela mi mushe atibisa si chapa che mudi mo abuleji u. And the Lord said to Moses, "Go and sanctify the people." Can you see the verse there? Jala morena busha are. Today and tomorrow. And yeah. let them wash their clothes. And be ready by the third day. For the third day, the Lord will come down upon the Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. Tell us pray. Father, thank you for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I think I won't pray too much when I after I read the scriptures. Not long I was realized that the Lord, the Lord always wanes our spirit. For us not to see the Lord and to understand that he's around is because when you win our spirit, we found that we are not worthy. Remember, this was the time where the Holy Spirit was not even there. It was only God speaking with Moses. Now we claim God too much. But, but still, we can't even hear him talk. When the Lord wins our spirit, we are not better than the old Israelites. I was checking why how God can visit these people. He showed that what is important is the preparation you do before you meet him. Before we now if your preparation is of the best, when you win your spirit, you will hear him talking with his servant. And also, you'll be afraid of his servant. If you can see here, you realize that nowadays, even the fear. Look where we have read what was happening. There. That truly these people cannot approach God by themselves. Because Moses was chosen, he was between them and God. But the moment when the Israelites went to desert, you know, you know what is desert? The, the place where it's hot. The place where there is no enough water. The, the moment when they went there, Moses went up to the mountain. Usually you can see that uh, Moses might not have been happy because also he wanted the direction of, of leading the people. But now I'm in the desert. So it's better I climb the mountain not to see the road but to go and find from the Lord. But the moment he climbed there and reached there, when he tried to ask God, you can hear God is not talking about, you see what, the direction is this. Direction what dog God is speaking here? Was, okay, I want to visit this people. 
Because what is important is when God comes to us. Not when we move forward. Not when we find the direction. When, when God comes, we find ourselves. So the Bible says, Moses always will report words to the people. And the people will say, okay, we shall obey what you say. But this time, God says to Moses, because I will come to tell people to sanctify themselves. Tell these people to be ready of me. Tell these people to make their preparation of showing that I'm coming. There's a verse that we have read there. It says, He said, I will come with a thick cloud. In other words, I will come with powerful glory. But you must be ready for me by sanctifying yourself. Tell us my friend. When was the last time you sanctify yourself before you come to the house of God? So what I'm talking about here is the Lord wanes your spirit. These people they were ready to meet the Lord. Therefore, if they were ready they are supposed to obey what Moses is saying. They must sanctify themselves from day one, day two, by the third day, the Lord will descend. I don't know if you are hearing me. The Lord is not so, so I mean, so weak. He can just give himself to anybody. He wants to also to deal with yourself first. because you will not just approve you. he will check your spirit if you are for him for his coming I don't know if you are hearing me as I say my friend before you came here did you check your spirit did you prepare that's why I'm preparing myself sometimes we come to church without preparation and when the Lord weighed us, he found we are so, so light. I just remember one day in Daniel chapter 5 when the man who was a king because of the position when his father took over his they took the things that were used in the temple and, and he decided to use those things to drink wine. And sometimes when he was drinking, a finger began to write on the wall that you were weighed and you find that you are not having weight. And because of that, you can continue to become a king. Listen to this the moment God weighed you either he reward you or he remove you many times we are being removed but we put ourselves in and because we are not dealing with our weight when the Lord descends we must be ready of him by doing our preparation of waiting upon him if you know you have been waiting for something special prepare yourself in a special way if you know you have been waiting for a better blessing prepare yourself with a better blessing for a better blessing do you know why God is using some people there are some people who are born that many of them make mistakes but there are others who pay the price many of them they don't want to waste I'm here to tell you there are some people here that after this preparation, when the Lord wane you, when he wane you, 
you will be a blessing in your family, in your nation, in your city, in your town, in your village. You are here because of that. There are some people here when God win them, you are as good as you are not existing. Like the men I'm telling you about, that when the end was writing, they said, Mene, taken. It means I win you. I found that you are wanting. Because you are using things that does not fit you. And you don't consider that when people use this thing, I come. Listen to this. When God comes today, he must find you heavy. That's what I say, hey, I want to be heavy. I just want to be heavy so that I'll be able to carry do you know that the reason why you can carry something also your weight counts. Uh, you know, uh, if, you, if you are 80 kg, you can carry 40 kg simple. But you are 80 kg Mara 80 kg. You want to carry 120. Mm. 120. Your spinal cord can be affected. Spinal top cord is But you can deal with yourself Mara in a special wena. way so that you gain the weight to be able to be carry, carry that weight. I don't know if you are hearing me. That's what I say, my friend. Today when I leave this house, I must be found heavy, able to carry what is worthy. Okay, let me show you another verse then. If you read Luke 18, Luke 18, maybe it will give us a clue from 10 to 14. Luke 18, 10 to 14. Luke 18, 10 to 14. Are you there? Can you ask your neighbor, why are you going to why, Ukari, why is it like you don't have weight? What is he saying? Can you just say, why, why is it like you don't have weight? And you want to carry things that are going to break your spinal cord. If you read from verse 10, then, look at verse 10. It says, two men went up into the temple to pray. Can you see that? And the one a Pharisee Amen. and the other a tax collector. And the, and the Pharisee took his stand and began to pray thus before and with himself. God, I thank you Amen. that I'm not like the rest of many extortioners or, or robbers, shindlers and adulterers or even like these tax collectors here. I fast twice a week. I give tithe of all that I gain. Look at that. But the tax collector standing at the distance will not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but kept striking his breast, saying, Oh God, be, fair of, be favorable. Can you see that? Amen. To me, the, the, especially the wicked sinner that I am, I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other man. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, Amen. but he who humbles himself will be exalted. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can see two men praying, expecting to receive. Another one come with his ability. Looking at the one who's a, a sinner, who was a tax collector. A Pharisee was recognized that he's a holy person in front of people. But it when people are not there, it was, it was something else. So, so there were things he can do which people can say he's justified. Because in front of people, he was the best. But now, Jesus was giving an example of the same. That when this one came from home, he never checked his preparation. But the text collector knew that he is not 
supposed even to reach very close to the altar. When he reached there, he found that there are things he cannot even ask from God. That to deal with himself before he asked anything there. But this one, the moment he reached there, because he never prepared himself, the moment he found text collector, he even pointed this way, God, he remember, I'm not like this bugger. I fast twice a week. I pay my tithe. This one doesn't pay. So it means if you want to award, I'm the one to be blessed, not this one. And Jesus said, who went home with a blessing? Who went home with a proof? Listen to this. How you approach your God, it can also affect your blessing. Because remember, the moment you approach your God, you are telling him that he must come. Remember Hebrews 11 verse 6. He who comes to God must believe that he is and is the reward of those who seek him diligently. If you come to him seeking him diligently it means you know what you want. You have prepared yourself before you come. That's how God will reward you. But this one was not seeking. He was talking his experiences and his ability. There are some people when they come to church, they are still looking at what they can do. And they forget that they have come to church and God will come to win their spirit. When God win their spirit, he found them in their pride and he found that it was their day of receiving what they were supposed to have received. I'm here to tell you that when you come to God today, can you forget yourself and begin to understand that God is the same same yesterday, today, and forever. If you come to him, believe him, he will never leave you for second. He will bless you abundantly and shock your neighbor. You must forget your experiences. You must forget your abilities. You must come to God like you, you as you fear him. In a way of fearing him. But if you speak with God, like it's an obligation of God to do whatever you are saying, this can really affect you and affect whatever you pray. You know, the Bible says, God, you know, the Bible says, no, no, tell them and worship him as God. If you know it is a sin, confess your sin before you reach him. We are justifying ourselves unnecessarily and this is affecting the church of the living God. Remember, this is the church that the Bible says Jesus bought it by the blood. By the blood. It means he lost himself for the church. So even ourselves when we come to church, we must win our spirit. Tell your say, my friend, don't come like you know. Don't come like you understand. Come like you seek him. The Bible says, seek him diligently. He will reward you. In other words, you deal with yourself before you pray. Deal with yourself before you give. Deal with yourself before you fast. There are things you must do before you act accordingly. Dealing with yourself, your preparation is important. We need Christians nowadays that before they fast, they sit down and worship him and understand their relationship with him. Not to fast to get something. No, no, no. To fast to understand him first. To deal with themselves first and say, by these three days, I'll be dealing with my relationship with God. After these three days, I'll be acknowledging him. The, the, to the ninth day, I'll be asking whatever I can ask. But what we are doing now, we are moving so fast and we are lacking the knowledge. And this makes us to make God like our friend. God will never be a friend, will be a father. I want to prophesy that this week, when God wins your spirit, you must be with you for your blessing. If you believe so, Say amen. Tell someone, say, my friend. Are you sure when God wins your spirit, you are worthy of what you are asking? 
If you read Matthew 5, verse 23 to 24, verse 23 to 24, Matthew 5, Matthew 5, verse 23 to 24, 23 to 24, can I read for you? So if when you are offering your gift at the altar, you there remember that your brother has any against you. Leave your gift. Can you see the verse there? Amen. At the altar and go. Face make peace with your brother. Then come back and present your gift. My God. You hear that verse? Eh? Ask your neighbor, did you hear that verse? Before you present your gift to the altar and you realize there is anything else with your brother. Eh? Uh. Leave your gift to the altar. The Bible didn't say give it. He said leave it here. And go back. Look at the responsibility that God is giving us. Go back and fix the relationship with your brother and have peace with him. And come and offer your gift to the altar. You know, when I read that verse, I said, ah, maybe many of our givings are not givings. So you can see that we might be wasting time. But what is called useless. Which when God wins, he doesn't find it. Okay, you are holding a gift. So the question is, if you give it before you make peace with your brother, what it? it means you didn't give. Think about you have something wrong with your brother. You well, want I to pray. So, deal with the issue of your so brother and make peace first. And come and, come and pray. pray. That prayer will get a reward. Because God wants to wait. And he found that really is, it can bring something. You know, I was learning something that I want to tell you. Especially to you Christians. Do you know that we have got many offenders? Yeah? Many, many. People around you, they are 99%. But that the devil is using against you. There's not even 1% of people are standing with you. 99%. 99%. Do you know that on that 99%, there is 0.7% of the people who are saying, we want to see where you will end. You can find it's 0001 who are celebrating. Because even the people that you are considering, that are the ones that they are favoring you. They are just favoring you because you are down together. The moment when they go up, they will run away from you. Many of you, you think people are standing with you. You can ask me, I will tell you. There are some people, when you are on the same page together with them, you know, they, they are waiting to bypass you. The moment they bypass you, you are a small boy. Are you hearing me? So therefore, we have got many offenders. Because reason is, if your life will be smooth, you, you are going to be an example to many people who are seeking God. So Satan will fight so you Satan to the end. You'll be surprised he who's witching you is your brother, your brother or your sister. Some of you are even fighting in the family. And always you come to church with and a heavy heart. You know, 
And remember, it was also impossible for you to go back and fix that kind of relationship. So that whatever you are doing in the house of God will be called useless. They are so, I mean, you know, we can call it I mean, family politics. Too much things in the family. Satan has entered the family. And Jesus spoke about it. He said, two will be against them. And he said, I have come for fire. For fire. So when fire is there, people will hate you for zero. And now they will speak something that will make your heart to be heavy. When you lift your hands, you find that you are just lifting your hands, but your heart is still having grudges. Because if you lift your hands, whereas you do what Peter said, cast your curse upon him because he cares for you. If you do that, you are going to be example in front of your enemies. I don't know if you are hearing me. This year, many of you, you are going to dominate your enemies. They will know that you are worshiping God. If you believe, shout hallelujah. That's what I say, my friend. I don't care about offenders. I'm trusting my God. And I'm not looking back on what I'm doing. I'm carrying on. Whether I'm rejected or celebrated, I'm carrying on. Whether you are forsaking me or you are fighting me, I'm carrying on. I don't care what people are saying. I'm trusting my God. I'm carrying on. We need Christians who can say, I'm carrying on. I don't look back. I'm carrying on. When my God visits, you will find that I'm fit for the position he tailor made me for. There are some Christians who are here that God has designed them and set them for a space of time and you are rejected and people are leaving you. Don't leave your habitation. Stay in the Lord. When you are connected with your God, he will come. He will show up. This is the right time of the manifestation of the sons of the living God. You are about to be visible. Tasa will say, hey, I don't look what you are saying. I am gaining my weight. I'm gaining my weight. I'm gaining my weight. I'm gaining my, I'm gaining my weight. So sometimes you must carry on gaining your weight so that you dominate. When you walk, you shake the ground. Somebody must know you are coming. Don't allow anything to take away your weight because of the grudges you are having with your brother and sisters. Because they are around to make you to lose that weight. Tell yourself, I don't allow anything in life that can make me to be slim. I'm trusting my God. Every day I'm with my God. Me and my God, we are majority. And I'm not looking back. I'm moving forward. Because I know where God took me. And I believe where he's taking me. So I cannot look back because of what people are saying. I'm trusting where he's taking me. Because wherever he's taking me, that is my destiny that God has set for me. So I can't look back because I'm trusting on what he has done before. So I'm gaining my weight. So when he, dis he, he comes, he will give me what I deserve. There are many Christians here that they've been waiting for today. You've been waiting for today. Today, when God is coming down, you must be prepared to carry. Are you prepared to carry? Eh? Don't look what happened there. Just prepare yourself. When I took it, prepare to carry. When I look at your wall. When you weigh your spirit, you must be say yes. This is the one. It happened to Job. When God weighed his spirit, he said, Oh, in the whole earth, there is nobody like Job. When he weighed the spirit of Moses, he said, Oh, there is nobody who's humble like Moses. When he weighed the spirit of Joshua, he said, Oh, Joshua. He's so humble. And Caleb, they are the ones who cannot die until they see the, the cannon. When he weighed the spirit of Job, John, Jesus says, this one 
oh, he will live until when I come back. Even today you are still talking about John. When you win your spirit, there is something that God is speaking about your life that will be visible and be known by your friends and neighbors. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God win my spirit, he said, though you are Though you are in a bush, I will make you to be known. When God when your spirit is I have called you, you are in the bush. But the whole world will know you. You know, he, he doesn't check whether your ministry is in town in the city. He doesn't check whether you are born in the village or in the city. When I started to come here in Khaute, I was told that many people were born in Tebisa. They don't want to study. They are just doing business. Do businesses. Do businesses. And I know some that are business people. Others, they were doing that in a wrong way and then in the right way. But you know, there are some people that when they come here, they say, I don't want to do things in a wrong way. I'm afraid of God. I'm trusting my God. I'm caring with my God. And until my God lifts me up. And I know they are still on top. Can I tell you something? There are some people here that it's like they've been delayed in what is happening. The Lord is coming here today. When he descends here, he will win your spirit. The car you are waiting for, you will drive it. The house you want, you will have it. It is not impossible. It can be impossible to those who are weak, but not to you who are called, who are born by the word of God. I say it won't be impossible for you. I see you shining your shine, walking your way, reaching your destiny in front of your enemies. I see you taking what is worthy for you to take. I prophesy victory in your life. Don't look back. Get up again and stand up again. Take what belongs to you because you are worthy to take what belongs to you. I see your God visiting, raising your hand in front of your enemies. I see your enemies falling. Your name will be known this year. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Whether you like it or not, he who that God raised, you can put him down. Whether you like it or not. So if you raise yourself, you will fall by your mistakes. So that's what God is telling us here. I don't know if you're hearing me. Uh, Amen. I'm hearing your spirit is being weighed. I see your enemies. They are spitted out. And yourself, you have the taste in the mouth of your father. He's speaking for you. If you believe, say, hey. I say, he's speaking for you. Today, when people are looking, you will go home being trained. You are overcoming in front of your neighbors, in front of your friends, in front of your brothers. You are taking over. There is something coming. You have been waiting. For, and you are taking it in the name of Jesus. And the glory of the Lord will descend in this place. You are the one that will give a testimony in the name of Jesus. There are friends who have been looking at you, laughing at the distance, but they were not aware that this day will come. As this day has come, I want my God to advertise you and to raise you in a way that will shock everybody in front of you. I say you are here to be advertised by my Father God. In that job, you'll be advertised. In that business, you'll be advertised. In that ministry, you'll be advertised. Sit down. He ordered your road and allow your path not to stumble. Wherever you go, will be the one to take you. And the moment I heard that, I found that always 
he will make sure that he pick you up. He will never allow you to go where you are not supposed to go. Like what happened to Paul when he wanted to go somewhere. What is he saying? No, don't go there. He wanted to go somewhere. It happens to me when I was in Spain. I said, Can I take this? God said, No. The time is not yet right. In other words, when God wins your spirit, he makes sure you are not disparate. I'm not disparate. I'm blessed. I'm not disparate. I've got victory. I'm not disparate. There are some people here. Though you're not disparate, God is making you the first today. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I greet you in the name of Jesus. I came here when the apostle was teaching and saying that all the things that you want to see. So I have an old car and I was also praying that I must get a new car. Then the more part to chat and the fortune. God has blessed us now with the fortune. I thank God for that. I would like to thank God for what He has done for us. The day we were eating the cake of Apostle's birthday. It was late and another usher blocked me. He said to me, just go back and even if you can get a cream, it's okay, just rub it on your hands. And I so I had a problem that here underneath my waist it was painful. Other times I would have a pain on my right side. I came back and I ate the cake. And Monday in the AMs. My stomach started aching the way I did not understand. When I went to the restroom, I was using number one and number two. Ever since then, I'm healed. Amen. like to thank God for what he has done for us. I had a problem with my right eye from last year. I couldn't even sleep even though I have put the medication. I went to different doctors and they were telling me that I have to do operations and there's a possibility that the eye will end up not seeing. Last week Wednesday, in Teran Talan. Last week Wednesday, I came here. He kuvulan sa na kuluanga na believe asha kulas ashtele kila shiko mshungu samuri le na mimi bana believe wako le shinga tala kuvabza lugu kutoa kasi dorele. When they just spoke and said whatever that you are here, God has already answered you. I also believed. Logo nifika induin kotekwenye tel anda chalanga nifika more. When I got home, I was able to sleep and I no longer put medication in my eye. The following day, into anga kuna shule shu ma kalanze kati so la kiti chaka. The following day, there was something like death that was coming out of my eye. From that day until today, I'm healed. Amen. Amen. 
I came here because of my cousin's child who is Palisa. She was, she was blind, she was not seeing, she was not even talking. On Sunday we were here. And then Apostle Apostle prayed for her. And we went back home. When we got home and we were about to sleep at about 9 10 p.m., at night she wouldn't even eat. When we entered, she slept. She was tired. And during the night, she woke up. She went, she said she wanted food and her eyes were also open and she was also talking. I would like to thank God for that. Amen. Firstly, I would like to greet the Apostle and Mama in the name of Jesus. I'm, I'm Mashudu from Bretz. I came here yesterday. I have a daughter who has many sicknesses. She's got two months being bedridden. But this morning when I woke up and I called home, she answered the phone. And she said, my mother, I went to buy fat cakes from the shop. I thank for the blessings of God. Amen. Amen. I'm Ribuani Murawudzi from Mashawi Limpopo. I only have a month here. I've been looking for a job. I thank God that I found a job now. Amen. New York. You know, um, last night it, I had a deliverance from a religious spirit of Hinduism. I came from a background of Hinduism. And I've gone through a lot of um, spiritual difficulties uh, since I accepted Jesus. Because we were taught, like in the churches um, in New York, Actually, in America, once you accept Jesus, all your problem is gone. But that's not the case. I knew there was something going on in my life and also my family. Because our family uh, life has plagued with a lot of divorces. Even though I, I wasn't a part of Hinduism, like worshipping Hinduism, the gods of Hinduism. My sorry. My ancestors did. Yet, because uh, they came from India. And they served thousands of gods, probably hundreds of thousands of gods. And last night, many of you who was here witnessed the deliverance. I thank God because glory to Jesus he is a deliverer. 
for using the man of God so mightily. Because I've been to many churches and I never experienced that. And, uh, um, I hope you know that from, from this time go forward that, you know it's going to be a big difference in my life. I will experience the glory of God and the blessing of God. Amen. 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 Once you, you hear somebody testifying, it means God has done that for you. Even you, you are going to get, tell us your testimony soon. Congratulations for your testimony in advance. I congratulate you. Tell yourself, I'm going to give a testimony too. How many of you are going to testify? Just Yes, yes, yes. Congratulations in advance. I think... Uh, as you heard my brother also here saying, in America, once you are a Christian, everything is finalized. Yeah. Demons are gone, whatever, whatever. So, I even asked him yesterday, I said, were you sure you were having a demon? Uh, because already you are, you are told that you just, I accept Jesus. And from there, you are taught what the Bible says. Some people are no longer even teaching what the Bible says. They, they, we call them what nowadays. Uh, these people were just they, they, they just encourage people. Uh, eh? Motivational mo speakers. Mo motivational speakers. Very motivate. Many motivational speakers now are in the church now. They are but no longer. Uh, the moment you, are, you know you have studied, you have got PhD, and uh, you have learned too much, you can stand up and motivate <inaudible> people. You know, this, that, this. And you find people are sitting with demons. If we have a church where we don't get deliverance, you know, witchcraft will reign. And the reason why all of us will need deliverance. It's because of where we come from. It's not because of our present now. The blood we are having is for our forefathers. Are you hearing me? So all of us here, the whole world, we need all of us what? Deliverance. Because yourself, you say you have accepted Jesus. But remember, you have accepted Jesus from what? From what we were doing before. So what we were doing, we are influenced so by the same spirit that has influenced your forefathers influence your forefathers there. So, can you see that you don't say there's no deliverance? It's really needed. Hallelujah. Amen. So we thank God for that kind of salvation. And uh, I think the people that I wanted to, to just to ask but was that lady with the child that was blind. Where, where is that mama? Just come. You can hear that if the child was blind, after prayer, I, say, I want to sleep. When the person wake up, I say, I want to eat. You can see this is not Makaranisa, it's God. You know, you know there, there are some certain things you could see that you can't give credit to men here. This is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And now you can see she's walking there nicely. I think I had one old lady you saw who was my visitor on the weekend that three years they can't see the black eye. You remember the lady? Who was around? Who heard that? Yeah, you were around. You were around there. But after that, she was able to see her hands. Her eyes were open. When we talk about eyes open, yes, yes. I, mean, I mean, the cripple walking. That one is the ministry of Jesus. So, Mama, Ma. so she was blind. Yeah. Total blind. 
You will also only see the white of the eyes. So you can hear you don't see the black of the eyes. But that's what I wanted to hear because you can see the black things is only a brown one. Brown here. You can see she can see now. So it was only white. Where she? And she was weak. Weak. Very weak. You carry her. The brother was carrying well, the side back. You remember that side there? The side there. They always carried like this. And then, now look, she's standing. Jesus is the same yesterday. And her eyes, you can see. Her eyes are open. How do you feel, my girl? She speaks Pedi or Zulu? English. How do, you, how do you feel now? Can you tell us? I feel good. You feel good? Even in English, you can hear. That is really powerful. I feel, I feel good. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Very good. You know, when you are sick, you can't say, I feel good. You know, you, you can be surprised you are speaking your vernacular. Okay, thank you, you are free, Mama. Thank you. In Syria, you can see she was blind. The white thing, like the old, exactly like the old, the eyes were closed. We're closed like this, you can see, totally. So God is good. Now she feels good. She feels good. She feels good. She feel good. Feel good. You know, you can hear she feels good. And, and you can see her, she's going back to school. Believe that what you have been searching is searching for you right Who want to give a testimony? Something is happening right now. Wherever you are, receive that grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace of God upon your life. Receive. Receive wherever you are. Can you receive what you are here for? I said receive what you are here for. There are some people who are here that God is lifting their hands right now. As long as you are here, Amen. God is extending that hand Amen. to take your blessing. Amen. Say, I'm taking my blessing. I'm, I'm, taking, my I'm blessing. taking what I'm here I'm for. Taking what I'm, I'm here taking for. what I've been I'm fasting for. What, I've been fasting what are for. you taking? What are you taking? Mention it right now. Mention it. Mention it right now. Say it right now. Your hand is extended. Can you take something? Take! Take! Ancient of days, as old as you are. We are going to him as old as you are. You Ancient of, of days, days as old as, as you are, are as, as old as you are, you will never change. Listen, here in my visitors, I, I just want to say, I welcome you, my visitor. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. I want to pray with people very fast. But thank you for coming. Some of you are coming from far. Already we have my brother. Who's coming from Nigeria? Nigeria. Nigeria. Nigeria where? Come from Imo State. Imo State. Yeah. So don't Imo worry. State. You people are going to be with you one on one. Uh, tomorrow. You're in Nigeria? 
It's a Nigeria. The man of God. Yeah, also Nigeria. Don't yeah. worry. Okay. You people are going to be with you one on one. But today you will be delivered. Like yourself, I see God. Amen. God wants to deliver you Amen. from your Amen. family. Amen. 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 Come here, come here, sir. Come here. I see this spirit following you. Come on, come on. It's free. It's free. Leave him. You know, I saw I saw the family was dedicated to a tree. You people used to worship very close to a tree. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. And it has caused a damage on you. Yes, man of God. There is nothing that you do that prosper oh, is zero. Okay. Everything is zero. I have been so suffering. Like I, try my best. Huh? I try all my best. If, if, even if when I, for you to come here, was it was very, early. very hard. I was there really last really. month, but huh? it was very difficult for me. And we I go back. Really back. I, I mean, back to again. come here, it's yes. difficult for you to come I here. sold my old car before I can be able to be here. My old car, I sold it. Can you hear that? He sold his car to come here. My God, do. Thank God. So you are free, sir. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I saw. I saw. My God. This pastor, my God. And I don't know what you are talking. You. I can see you. Yes, yeah, you. Come here. Thank you. Since you came here, you are talking, talking, talking. Why? Since what are you talking about? I can't hear you. Yes, man of God. You are talking about what? You are talking about breakthrough in huh? my church, in my life, everything. No, 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 no. You were talking with somebody here. Go say, this man, since he came here, he's talking, talking. We are talking, talking with who here? Can you come here? Thank you. People. Because you were talking to extent that you even disturbed the Holy Spirit. Since you came here talking, talking, talking to you, heard him talking. Yes, yes, yeah? man of God. What is he talking with you about? No, he was just saying this place is full of power. That's what he was saying. This man, I think I realized that he was supposed to have prayed because... They tie him, they put him in a yeah, hole. Yeah, he's actually having a lot of problems. Huh? He's experiencing a lot of problems. Huh? Even last year, he's been through problems. The church split it. It's not only the church, the waste. Yes. Yes. Your waste here is tied here. You the always feel pain here. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, man of God. So, you, the moment you realize there is power here, you were supposed to be praying. Yes. Because around here, you feel okay, something here. Le you le le si si mom, le mom. Huh? Yes, As if people are giving you things when you're sleeping. Oh, because you always me. dream eating. That's, that's true. true. He told you? Yes, that's true, prophet. God loves you. Do you want Look 
from today, you must not trust anybody. It's going to prosper in the ministry. ministry. Free. What do you want? I'm HIV. You're HIV, what? Positive. Does your family know you're HIV positive? Yes, ma'am. Who? My sister. Where is she? Lesotho. Lesotho. Go and test your HIV negative. Amen. Another one. You are free. Okay, thank you. Another one. Here. Can I get you another one? Here? You are free. In Jesus' name. Can I, can I get another one? Come. Go for a test. You're freak. Another one. Congratulations. Where is your boyfriend? Boyfriend, okay. I don't have. Eh? I don't have. You don't have a boyfriend? No. Man friend? Man friend. Woman friend? Woman friend. Dog friend? Dog Cow friend. friend? Cow friend. You're free. Look can I get head. another one? They run if you want to be healed. One person, please. You're pregnant. We mean. Jesus is healing you now. Just so for the channel, John. You are free. Can I get the last one? Oh, Jesus. Oh. You are free. Amen. Can I get this side? Can you yeah, Come on, you demon. Leave it, leave it. Leave. Come on, you demon. Come on. HIV is a demon. HIV is a demon. Can I get another one? There's another one here. Did I touch it? Jesus has healed it. Amen. Sorry. What is your name? Mateki. 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 She has got the spirit of the dog. It's a dog here. A... You dog. Dog. It's a dog. Can you put it closer? You can hear the sound of a dog there. One person who wants a job here. Fall down before you reach it. All of you fall down. Fall down there. Down. Come on, down. Fall down. Fall. Hey, hey. Fall down. Fall. Hey, hey, hey. Congratulations. Hey, all of you fall down here. Down. Even you here can sit on our yata. Hey, even you here. Hey, 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 hey. Even you here, you are anointed. Come on. How many of you knows that by me coming here, 
the yoke that was troubling is broken amen Can you shake everybody who want a job to get a job? Wherever, wherever, everywhere, in this house, wherever. Everybody must shake. If you want a job, I must see you shaking. I say, hey, hey, turn around, turn around. I command you to turn around. No one will stop you from today. No one will stop you. I'm hearing a call, a call. They are calling you. They are calling you. I said they are calling you now. Amen. Arise. I say arise. Look at my brother. Look at my brother. Look, look at him. Arise. Look at how my brother fall. Brother, stand up. Stand up. Look at him, look at him. Look at him. He's lifting up his ear. Look at him. Arrest. Four. <laughs> you think it's only this one, say, eh? who are here, who are falling? You people here, the demon that was blocking you demon has left, left you right now. Let somebody learn as well. Look at it. Watch, watch them. Watch, look at my brother. Look at, look at my brother there, down there. Cover his stomach there. I'll be collecting earrings. <laughs> carry on shaking. 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 Carry on I'll be giving that to my daughter. When they are busy shaking, I'll be collecting earrings. Giving it to my daughter. The ring that fall down. Collecting Give it to me. If there is money, I'll take it to my son. I'm not seeing money. You, why is like people who are following here that don't have money? A raise. Congratulations. Eh? There are some people here, you were at the brink of your breakthrough. But there's an issue in your family rising and falling. Rising and falling. Holy Spirit is locating you wherever you are. I say Holy Spirit is locating you wherever you are. Receive that breakthrough. Receive that breakthrough. Receive that success. Can you take it? I take it. Take that breakthrough. Take. I take it. There are some people who are trying to do business, but nothing is working. But I'm here to tell you that whatever you will do from now, there is multiplication, multiplication, Amen. multiplication. Amen. 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 Father, can you show me such people? Touch them wherever they are. Can you show me such people? <sighs> when I was standing here, 
I saw you people here, you are pastors there. I saw something like a wave hitting you. The anointing is coming upon you now. It's there now, it's there. You will begin to fall. Let me see them falling, all of them. Take, take that anointing for your ministry. At the back there. They are falling there, at the back there, at the back. Yes, there. Take, that means, take it. Take anointing. There are some visitors here. That God is raising. There was too much delay in your life. That delay is cancelled today. I say it's cancelled in the name of Jesus. Can you receive power? Can, can you receive anointing? Receive your breakthrough. Congratulations. Amen. Listen, I want to come to you one on one. Yeah. Because I saw there are many, many spirits that are hiding. Others are coming from your family where you were born. And you are questioning why your situation is not changing. Like you hear my brother say, the family was Hindu, but he has never practiced Hindu. Some of you here, your families were Sangomas. Others were worshipping idols. And so there are some people here, they are in Okanji, but they don't know. Others they are being followed by spirits. They don't even understand it. So I want to tell you that that evil spirit that was following you is located. I see it falling. You are going to prosper this year in the name of Jesus. giving, coming with crunches. And there's another lady there who's, she can't work without can, I say she must give there. There's enough power to do any miracle. Can you, that lady that was using that let her walk, let me see how she walk. There is power because God wants to do many things here. My sister, what happened to you? The reason why you work like this. So it's a stroke. It's a stroke. Okay. Let me meet you. Uh, there's another brother that I saw using two crutches. Also, he's working with difficulty. Where is, where is that brother? Le is he outside? Is he here also? Come, both of you. Come, look at, look at how this mama, she get tired. Stop there, mama, in Jesus' name. You can see I've touched what she's holding. And look what is happening to her. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Today you are healed. <laughs> Look here, sister. The pain is gone now. I'm taking this. Just lift it up. I never touch a walk now. Come here, come here. Come, 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 walk. Come, come. Mama, don't walk by the side. Look, it's the first time she's walking without this. She's afraid. Mama, is it the first time? Huh? You are walking like this? Yeah. Huh? Speak. Huh? Come, walk. My God. Come. Come. I want to see you walking. Carry on walking. You have received the strength. Carry on. You won't fall. Eh? If you fall, they will hold you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
You are free from this pain. She feel pain. The pain is going. Can you walk now? You are free. Eh? <laughs> now she's working better. Eh? All right. Carry on working. Carry on. Brother, what happened to you? Because I'm seeing something here. They, car accident. Car accident. They put your leg is broken. Please. So they put a cement here yes. until here. Yes. Can you just give me one crash? Let me give it to Asha. Can't walk without by one. More balancing on the side here. Okay, give me this one. You are healed. Can you just walk now? She's, can you stand up and appreciate God? How do you feel? Sir? How do you feel now? Yeah, there's a little pain. There's a little pain now? Yes. Little? Yes. Can you just walk? You are here. <laughs> Who's using crunches also? Leave those crutches and walk. If you are using crutches. If you are using crutches wherever you are. Even you can walk. When you are seeing these people who are using this. My sister, you are here. You are here. You are going to come here walking perfect. Can I see another one? Yes, another one there. Leave that crunch. And walk in the name of Jesus. Can I get another one? Let me see another one. Jesus has healed you. Leave those crutches and walk. I'm seeing another one here. Look at this one which is having irons. My God. Look at this one here. Can you just walk wherever you are? Wherever you are. Jesus, walk, walk. Carry on walking. Carry on walking. Carry on walking. Carry on walking. Look at how mama she's walking. If Jesus say yes, the perfection is coming from that lady. She's still walking. She's going back on her own. And here, look at this one who's walking by this leg. My God, oh. the leg there. You could see that they try to join the bones, and it's really frightening. Look at this baba here. My God, arise! If you are sitting on a wheelchair. Rise up and walk also. Wheelchair, rise up and walk. Receive the strength. Rise up and walk. Rise up, rise up. Rise up, don't sit, rise up. Rise up, receive strength wherever you are. My God, arthritis is gone. I say it's gone, arthritis is gone. There is arthritis is gone. Arthritis is gone. If you are sitting on a wheelchair, rise up, rise up. If you are sitting wheelchair, if the person rise up, lift that wheelchair. It's your time of a miracle. Receive that miracle. If you are blind, your eyes are open. If you can hear, test your ears are open. If you can walk, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Listen, God told us that even the, we have been seen there, dead people must rise. They must rise. If you are dead, you must rise. Even now, your career is rising. Your career is rising. Everything about you is going up. It's going up. It's going up. It's going up. I say it's going up. Can you just praise God for those people who are working? Praise God for those who are healed. Diabetes is gone. I say diabetes is gone. Diabetes is gone. Mm. Arrest. 
High blood is gone. Heart condition is gone. Whatever problem you have been facing in your body, moving object is coming out of your body. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Heart attack. Heart attack. Heart attack. Heart attack. Heart attack. Heart attack. It's coming out right now. It's coming out right now. That demon that is causing heart attack is leaving your body right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Mm. Let me start with delivery. Are you ready for deliverance? Are you ready? Amen. Where? Yeah. Come on. I'm coming to you. Can I get ashes that live? Because I will be coming very fast to you. Any demon that was hidden for years in your life is under arrest.
Come on, you bring him. Come on. Once I touch you, God has, has touched you. I want to kill him. And he's huh? useless. And I'm a ruler. This one. I'm his boss. I don't want him to make his family to prosper. I think I got a lot of the from the ocean. I Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. Levito. I'm agent of Lucifer. Okay, agent of Lucifer. He will work. His own will work. What for warehouse. He's changing warehouse and warehouse over and over. He changed the warehouse. Me tie, me tie. Ah, it's from surprise. He makes mistake. George, a big mistake to come here to Makana. He has nothing. Anasilo. His girlfriend, who also binded, she's amongst us here. He can't work for his children. Oh. 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 So, the moment I touch you, you are blessed. Because God has blessed you. I said God has blessed you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
I didn't say after I touch you go home. I say you are blessed. Akare yake lechiri yanga ai kile shufej. Hey, mama. I don't want her to have children. to have children. I want to be very much. It's very wise. There are so many children, I don't know. When you have pregnancy, I eat the child. I want to be very my yo, children are not getting yo, children. Yo, 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 now you yo, want to kill the husband. Yo, yo, uh, 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 All right. Uh, I'm coming back. I'm coming, uh, uh, I'm coming back. Uh, let me uh, get another life. Uh, 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 Let's get another life. Let's start from here. We are tired, what's wrong? Listen, after I touch you, you are... Come around, kill this one. Demon. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 They won't work. Hey, hey, hey. 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 H
Sick. My wife is very, very sick. She's outside in the car. Man of God, help me. My wife, wife is very sick. sick. You are from where? It's from Tapantin, Jobek. Tapantin. Originally, yeah. you are from where? Malawi. Malawi. You are from Malawi? Yeah. You are very sick of where? Cancer. Yes. Is you? No. She's in, outside in She's the car. She's outside in wife. the car. She can't walk. She can't walk. She can't. The usher told us to limit the outside. They say she cannot bring somebody who's very sick inside here. God is healer now when we are talking. The mom of forty six and I let it Amen. Amen. God is healing now. Amen. And God is touching you now. Amen. 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 Can you go and check her? Go and check. Samalo Valivelen. She's here. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Can you sit in your chair? Don't follow me. The long slow saline, I'll scan the tail. What is your problem? It's not about king. I want your baby. I want your baby. Ask me questions. Don't ask me questions. Don't ask me questions. Okay? Hey, listen to me. Don't ask me questions. What are you doing? She's praying too much, man. She's disturbing me. She's praying too much, She's praying too much, She's disturbing me. Once I 
touch you. Congratulations. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo. It's a demon. Come on, come on. Come on. Take the child, take the child. Take the child at the back there. Take the child. Come on, come on. Take the child, take the child. Hey, you're free, come on. Hey, hey, hey. You demon, hey. You. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Just leave it. Come on. Demon. Leave it. Come on, you demon. Where is your husband? I don't have a husband. 
I don't have a husband. Huh? I don't have one. Why? I can I. I broke up the engagement. Huh? I broke up the engagement. Kirelera Arogan. With whom? With who? <laughs> With my fiance. Where is fiance? it? Where is it? Where is it? I must cry. I must cry. I must cry. My sister, you are still going to break engagements. You are still going to break engagements. Unless you are delivered. Deliver me, man of God. You, do you know that you, you become open to relationships so quick? You open to relationships so quick. You trust people so fast. What's up, Papa? To capilla. That's how you see they are manipulating you. That is why we want to have a look at how we. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? What's up, man? To capilla. Huh? Yes. Is there anybody who knows your situation? Una le mutoa tseba ni tava chao. Yeah. No. Eh? No. no. This is to tell you that God is delivering you today. Amen. Where is your wife? Mama, okay. She's at home. Even Mama, you, I... you must mind about your marriage. Yes. Yes. Because Satan is trying to attack your wife. Satan will go attack her, mom. That's true. Need... She doesn't even understand what you're doing. <laughs> You are, you are just two people in the point of interest. It's not true. That is true. Yeah, I mean, even when you say God says this to you, it's like you are creating a battle. Yes, that's true. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. So it's not that God is still speaking with you. But your wife needs to be delivered. That's true. That's true. She just need deliverance. Yes. She believes in money. But yes. yes. true. That is it? true. Yes, she wants you to work. Yes. So when you are bringing money, it's fine. When the ministry is small, the relationship is not working. Relationship is not working. Yes. Yes. That is true. Prophet. So you must forgive her. Yes. Just forgive her. Yes. Yes. You will marry her. Yes. Brother, where is your wife? Eh? She's in Swaziland. You're always fighting. Too much. Eh? Too much. She's too much. a soldier in Swaziland. Eh? She's a soldier in Swaziland. You are fighting too much. Yeah, because I'm seeing you like a woman there. You are, you are begging. And now it's like you want to separate. Eh? You, are, you are at the brink. You know what I'm talking about? Very true. Eh? Very true. Very true. Another one want to go there. Another oh, one. Go 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 go. Always fighting. Eh? We're always fighting. Your, that lady, lady. she have got a spiritual husband. It's it's very very eh? That's it's very true. So, my question is: So, why don't you give us space when I'm praying with people like this? You open up like space. Like now you want to usher now. And you don't know what is happening with this person. Hey, come on. Yeah. 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 You say what? What ring? Come on. Leave her, come on. You. Pastor. I'm still being trained. You are, very, train you. you are very much confused. God is telling me you are very much confused. Sometimes you feel you are not called. Yeah. Uh, that's true, Pastor. And Satan is putting a wrong mind on you. Do here. business. Do business. Do business. Do business. Do business. You know what I'm talking about? What's yes. Yes, Apostle. You know, yes, God has called you. 
Don't allow Satan to put any wrong mind in your mind. I know there are many people in your family who doesn't understand your calling. I think you are lazy. Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. So God loves you. Amen. What will happen is this, my sister. Can I tell you what will happen? Go eh? Yes, Papa. Eh, you, it's like when there's a breakthrough which is very close. It will come closer. Satan will make you and your husband to worry. Yes, that's true, Papa. Eh? That's true. I'm it's still true. waking up. I see your husband sitting on bed. Mm. Pray, pray after the decree. Yes. That's, eh? that's true, Papa. I can't hear you. That's true, Papa. Because it's like even the power of prayer is going. Yes, that's, true. Eh? that's true. But sometimes he just push to pray. Yes. Because because somebody say you, you people, this money will never get it. Yes, yes. You, you must remember when you marry. It was very hot. Yes. Yes. Eh? That's true, Papa. And at uh, that time, somebody cursed you that day. Yes. Eh? I know that. You know that. Yes. And they didn't want you to be together. Yes. Yes. Remember, they also advised you yes. that you must not love this man. Yes. Yes. Eh? They said we won't last. I can't hear you. They even said we won't last. They said we won't last. Yes. Don't worry, God is blessing you. Oh, thank you. Jesus. You're free. You're free. Look at that lady. Eh? Eh? Hey. What are you doing? What did I? Stand up and talk. I'm in love with you. What are you doing there? What are you doing? Stand up. One, two, three. Stand up. This is a man. A man. A spiritual husband. A man. A man. So you're a man, eh? You're a man. A man. Now you're a man now. So what are you doing, this lady? Huh? I can't hear you. You snake. to marry people who are white in complexion. <laughs> One day this person will do like this and you are two. And the room is locked and the person is doing like this. <laughs> and you are two. You will begin to think about You will run to the bathroom. <laughs> Take it in the bathroom. And search for the door that comes out through the bathroom. You will never find it. When you come back, you find she's carrying on. So what are you doing? She's a very good lady, but because of the spiritual husband, Satan is playing with her. Look what she's doing now. Leave her, don't touch her. Let's come to her. Look at look how she's working now. Aha. Are you when I'm a caranis? Aha. 
So what are you doing this sister? O dira mo yen. Live, she's free down there. Amen. So many of you are free already. Just, just me are touching you, coming closer to you. You are oh, many of you are free already. Amen. So you are free in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are free. Amen. Mama, you are free. Baba, you are free. You are free, Baba. You are all free. Thank you. Your people would come. Don't even allow Satan. You know, it's Satan. You know what they want to do? They, they want you to fight. I see you fighting. It's not true. It's true. Eh? It's true. What they are doing, they are, they are blocking this lady. So that she must not give you a chance. Always they will try to tie her. Tie inside you. And doctors will tell you it's a cyst. Cyst. You know, they cyst. will tell you many cysts. Cyst. Cyst. What does cyst. the doctor say? They say it's cyst and fibroids. Cyst, cyst and fibroids. That's what they're doing here. So the main issue, even you, even you now, you are becoming weak. You have got low sperm count. Huh? Mm. You are weak now. So it's not you, it's not this one. It's where you come from. People are not happy. You must ask your wife where she was born. Because there are three ladies there. You hear me? Aye. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Three ladies. The first lady was married. The second lady was married. I see the third one. So now, the first one and the, and the last one I believe your mother is the second one. It's true. Huh? It's true. And then now the first one and the second, the last one. They are beginning to say why their children are not prospering. It's true. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. So that's where your mother was married. So, so already this lady she is blessed. Whether there is five brother or not. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Amen. If you people can rejoice because, <laughs> because what I'm seeing is the family of you now. They are no longer happy about this relationship. It's true. It's not true, brother. It's true. Eh? It's true. true. Eh? Yes. What are they saying? They say you must leave, eh? No. What are they saying? That. They're just coming with a lot of stories. They're many, many stories. Yeah, yeah. These, These are, are the that. stories that will make you to go outside. I'm telling you now. So, these are the people that are fighting. I, they are fighting this marriage now. Even in your family, there are some people. Right? Go say, I must not talk about them. Because most of the time, you are talking about this family. They are the ones who cause this problem. So you are free. Amen. You will have a baby. Amen. A baby boy, brother. A baby boy. 
God wants to give you a baby. Amen. Call him Wangani. I receive. I receive. I don't know why in Shangani you will call the boy. You will say what? In Shangani. Wangani will call what? What will you say? Eh? Kensani. 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 The boy will be called Kensani. Testimony. Receive your heart desire. I receive. I want to decree and declare to Amen. you. Amen. That within these three days, Amen. today, tomorrow, Amen. and Friday. Amen. You'll be seeing testimonies on your left, Amen. testimonies on your right, Amen. testimony everywhere. Amen. Listen. Do you know what this mama said? She said, mama the child, say. by me coming here as a visitor from yesterday, the child that could not wake up was the one that was speaking with her. You remember the testimony? As long as you are here, as long as you live, even at home there, those who love you, they are receiving healing. I say, those who love you, they are receiving blessing. Amen. No more poverty. Amen. No more poverty. Amen. Success is your portion. Amen. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many people who are here, they believe that at home right now, at home, there is a connection that is arrived. I speak connection. Amen. In business. Amen. It has arrived in your home Amen. right now. Amen. You are here. Something is happening. Amen. I see connection. Amen. Of your blessing. Amen. Somebody is coming to give you finance. Amen. Receive your money. I receive it. Your program. I receive it. Your whatever you want. I receive. receive it. Your car, your house. I receive it. Business. I receive. Receive business. I receive. How many people are here that they know that God has done something? If you know, just wave your hand. Just wave your hand. Say, God has done it for me. God has done it for me. Listen. Because I must declare to you. This is a decree. Amen. That whatever you were supposed to get 10 years to come, it must happen right now. Now I'm going to give you the testimony.
Okay. That lady, they say she has got cancer. How is she? It's your wife. Mama? God? A lot of pains. Huh? Huh? She's still having a lot of pains. She can't stand. She can't stand. She can't, oh, even, oh, she can't even walk herself. You'll be surprised. Jesus has healed her. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Jesus has healed you. Hallelujah. Stand up straight. Mama, stand up straight. You are healed. Stand up. Amen. Stand up straight. Stand up straight. Amen. Oh, stand up straight. Can you hold her? Can you hold her? She's standing. You say she could not stand. Yeah, she was eh? not standing before. So, don't worry. Look here. Now you are standing. Look here, Mama. You are healed. Amen. You Thank are healed. You. Amen. Thank you, God. You are here. Amen. Thank you. Mama, can you stand up straight? I touch her only at the baggy. Father, thank you for destroying this cancer. Amen. Amen. She can't walk. Yeah, she can't walk. I will not thank you, Lord. Stand up straight. Don't worry, don't worry. Stand up straight. Stand up straight. Stand up straight. Look here, Baba. Now you are standing up straight. Eh? Not only me, Is there anything you are wearing inside that you can remove this? Yes. J yeah, just remove this, Mama. Mm -hmm. Can you take this away? Mama? Mm -hmm. Stand up straight. Mm -hmm. Stand up straight. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mama. Look here, Mama. Mm. Where that Satan says you won't die of cancer, mm. you are here. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I mm. want you to come. Walk. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. One step. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I give glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. All Hallelujah. right. I don't want her to walk like this. I, I want her to walk when she's straight. Father, thank she's you straight. for healing my mama. Stand up straight. Straight, 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 straight in Jesus. Straight now, straight now, straight now. Okay, Thank you are straight you, now. Can you walk when you are straight? Come. Samaya. Walk. Don't, you can't fall. Walk, 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 walk. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. She's walking. Yeah. She's walking. Glory Praise, Praise the living God. Yeah. Away from me. Yeah. She's walking. Hallelujah. Ah. Yeah. She's walking. Thank you, Jesus. Allow her to sit down. Allow her to sit down. It's fine. It's fine. Listen. What she did today is permanent. Amen. Who's this one? It's her son. Yes, it's her son. Yes. Oh my God. Oh. My God. Mama, you are here. Sit down. Sit down. You are here. You know, to be honest with you, this cancer is in the blood now. 
it has spread everywhere. That what she's doing here is impossible. But this is permanent. Amen. I heard a voice says, Jerry, uh, know that what happened to her is a real healing. It's a miracle. Amen. Hey, I heard a voice. Uh, I know this voice. I know it's my father. Jerry, know that what has happened here is a real healing. Mama, Mama, what has happened to you is you are healed forever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mama. Thank you, God. Hey, can you go away from me? Can you just adjust your camera so that you can take when you are far? Because, I mean, you can adjust your camera. You can still take when you are standing here at the distance. Can you just stand up, Mama, and try to show us what God is telling me here? Because I heard you are healed completely. Walk. Walk. Ah! 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 Hey, don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Are Are Sarah! Don't touch it! Hey! Don't, hey, hey, go away from her! Go away from her! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Can you play? Can you play when she's dancing? Dance, mama. Cancer is gone. Ah, 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 ah. Hallelujah. From Malawi, where is he? Where is the man from? Where is the husband? You, do you believe this? Yes, I do believe it. Ah, God when, has healed her. The way she was sick, she could do this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You are the one for who carried her here yeah. for two years. For, for two, two years. years. For yes. two years. <laughs> Can you shout and scream and shout? Hey! Hey! Ah! You know, I heard the voice when I was standing here. I know, that's why I said, I know that voice. I know my father when he speaks, he does it. Ah, ah, raise. Amen. So, the, this, the son here was not believing. That's why I took him to dance with my man. My, my boy, you were not believing there. No, I wasn't. You were not believing there. Yes, but now I do. Now, because you are seeing her dancing. Yes, because it's been a real struggle to see my mother back on how she is now. And it's yes. very sad. Amen. You know, listen to this. That's why I say it's permanent. I thank you. You are giving her water. They allow her to drink water. Amen. Remember, there's power of God in her body working. We thank God. Amen. Right? Mm -mm. You know, if cancer crippled you like this, I can say God to God. do like this is impossible. Because the whole side here of a womb. That's what God was showing me that the side here 
So this movie is down here. The whole party. That's why you could see her do like this. That is why never go in. Everything was done. She danced like this the way she was dancing. It's a miracle. Ah. I, all right. Can you dance for your own? Can you dance for your own? Dance for your own. Amen. Dance for your own. Amen. Dance, dance for your own. have been cancelled. Amen. Your debt has been cancelled. Amen. There are some people who are trying to do business. Tenders, tenders, tender. Amen. You have win that tender. You have win that tender. Amen. Receive that business. I receive. Financial breakthrough. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Congratulations. <laughs> Keep watching, Charis.